I find it quite worrisome that the world seems unaware of the scale of the problem of disappearances in Sri Lanka. There are no clear numbers, but the number of cases that we've documented suggest that Sri Lanka at the moment probably has the highest level of disappearances in the world. The government obviously says that nothing is happening whatsoever and denies any responsibility for the disappearances. In reality, cases we documented strongly suggest the involvement of Sri Lankan security forces. In essence, this is a, uh, an ethnic conflict and a civil war between the government and the Tamil Tigers. For many years, Human Rights Watch has documented abuses by the Tamil Tigers, but what we're seeing in the last year and a half is the government stooping to the level of this very violent and abusive armed group. In this battle, it's the civilians who get squeezed. Everything looks normal. You have tourists, you have nice beaches, and it looks like normal from the outside. But when you stay there a little bit and you start to scratch, and you start to investigate a little bit about the abuses, then you discover the, the horror of the situation, how bad it is. People are disappearing at night, kidnapped, and that's something that is like really not uh, in, in plain view. We met with hundreds of families uh, in Sri Lanka, and for each family, it's an ongoing tragedy. It's a tragedy that defines every single day of their lives. Uh, one of the cases that I found particularly outrageous was the case of disappearances of two men uh, in northern Sri Lanka. They both disappeared the same day. Both of their wives saw them being put in a military vehicle. They wrote down the license plate numbers, and yet the military kept denying having any knowledge of the disappearance. What's really important for us is in many cases, the disappearance took place in an area of strict government control. So it is impossible or very difficult for the Tamil Tigers or other armed groups to move about in these areas. We're talking about curfews. We're talking about uh, constant patrols and checkpoints by the military. And it's in these areas where disappearances are taking place, which in our mind points the finger uh, quite directly uh, at government forces. The government set up numerous mechanisms, committees and commissions that were supposed to look into disappearances. None of these mechanisms produced any tangible results. There are no investigations, no real investigations into disappearances and other abuses. And there are no prosecutions, simply no prosecutions whatsoever. The only mechanism that can actually help solve the problem of disappearances would be international monitoring. It would be able to look into violations by both sides of the conflict and is absolutely crucial if any justice is to be brought to the victims. Unforced disappearance uh, is a continued offense. It brings an enormous tragedy to the family because uh, in most cases they wonder for weeks and months and years and sometimes forever about the fate of their loved ones.